everybody i'm back again yes i know naughty woman always taking so long to come back <laughs> i apologize i know now it's summertime so it's difficult because i'm busy 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 in every way in everything so yes i tr i will try my best to upload as much as i can and when i can i cannot promise you every week but i will i will upload don't worry i did not forget you all again my apologies for taking so long but here i am today i will make from scratch the sauce to eat with spaghetti so spaghetti sauce so here i have several tomatoes um you can count <laughs> right there the picture is exact amount right there 12 tomatoes so i'm going to use all those tomatoes i already washed them all so now what i'm going to do first is the sofrito that is first i'm doing this pasta sauce from scratch preventing from buying the canned ones i noticed someone in my family gets sick every time i use the canned ones i've always read the ingredients and it always has too many stuff a lot of things in there that doesn't make sense i know to make it last long on shelves for sure of all those chemicals or whatever they add there but i'm going to show you how i make it at home okay let's begin too much chit chat too much chit chat okay so here i have uh garlic here I have a red, half a red onion, I have a half of red pepper, and half of a green pepper. Now, I have my oil in there. Now, what I'm going to use is a pinch of cumin, and I'm going to use also turmeric. I always use turmeric. I love the turmeric. It gives it a nice touch, a nice nice color so my stove is on so i'm gonna wait until it starts frying up and stir fry this until it's very well caramelized in the meantime i'll chop the tomatoes and have them all ready and chopped you can cut them any way you like <laughs> big small however you like any uh, shape squares or i'm just gonna chop them regular roughly chop and also in the meantime you can start uh cooking your noodles whichever noodles you decide to use any t any shape i'll just use regular spaghetti excuse all the noise my little boy is trying to copy me cook <laughs> he has his own little pot in, in plastic uh vegetables okay so we're gonna stir fry this up until it's very well caramelized So once it's well caramelized, I will be back. All right, this is frying up nicely. And I have here roughly chopped tomatoes. So in it goes in there. And this will stir fry until it dissolves. I still have four more to cut. But basically this is, so I put it here so you get the idea. So my garlic doesn't burn out, right? Okay, we're going to add salt to taste. Salt to taste. Just mix that up and on medium low heat okay that way it doesn't burn I'm gonna also wash some fresh oregano and basil that's what's gonna go in here as well here I have some uh, fresh oregano which I already washed so I just roughly chop it and just put it in there just roughly chopped and I got some uh, fresh basil my favorite part is the basil I don't know about you guys I love basil I could put another handful of basil if I can so I might go grab more basil uh, after this and some fresh cilantro that I have in the garden growing this is what I'm busy outside mostly in the garden enjoying the weather you know in ontario the winter is long and the summer is short i try my best to enjoy in summertime whatever i can i love gardening okay you will stir this up and let this simmer until it's almost dissolved the tomatoes so this is looking lovely now remember i only put half pepper red and green peppers i have some the other half roughly chopped like big chunks also the onions was half as well so i'm going to add another onion in there so i like to uh, make it chunky a bit chunky whatever i can i put more of those uh, peppers or more onions depends if you're an onion lover or not <laughs> so that's what i do basically this is all i do and then um at the end when it's all dissolved all the tomatoes are almost almost dissolved then i i put in the big chunks and let it boil for two minutes well first i put this i don't like the taste to be kind of raw so 
I'll put the onions first, right? And then I'll put the, the peppers at the end for two minutes. So it remains a little crunchy. I like it a little crunchy. All right, so I'll be back when it's almost dissolved. So we give it a mix on and off. Make sure it doesn't stick in the bottom. Many people peel the tomatoes. The only way to peel them is by having boiled water ready. It's really hot. Dip them for two minutes in the boiling water. Take them out right away in cold water. Put them in cold water and then start peeling them. And you can also take the seeds out of the tomatoes. I don't make my life complicated, so this is how I do it. By all means, do it the way I told you how it's supposed to be done by peeling and taking the seeds out. But this is the way I make it and nobody huff, huffs and puffs about it. Everybody's happy. The important part here is the taste. The taste is 100%, the, the flavor in there, okay? So I'll be back. Still needs time to, still has a lot of chunks in there. So once it's almost disintegrated. <laughs> okay, now is the moment I'm gonna put my onions because I don't like my onions crunchy at all or taste like raw. I'm just gonna put big chunks so that way it's chunky. So just three cuts. This onion is not small, it's kind of big. Okay, so we stir it and let it boil, let those onions cook. Don't forget to mix often because it does kind of stick in the bottom. I don't know, maybe it's the pot that I have, but I listened to all of you. You said stainless steel, stay away from aluminum. So that's what I did. And it seems to kind of, if you leave it too long, it'll stick in the bottom. I'm going to let it boil for another seven minutes. Then I'm going to add the the peppers, the red and green peppers that I have nicely cut in big chunks. And that is basically all, my friends. So simple, so easy, this uh, recipe. Now, if you eat uh, shrimp or you eat fish, then this is now the moment when you can add it in because that doesn't take long to cook. Or if you're a meat eater, then you can put your meat now. Your ground uh, beef or pork, I don't know, whatever you eat, you can put it now at this moment. All right, so I'll be back in seven minutes so we can add the rest of the ingredients. Yeah. Well, the peppers. All right, my friends, so it's ready. Now ready to add uh, whatever else you need to add, uh, uh, either it's meat or, or more vegetables. So I'm just adding more chunky peppers. So that's it. This is all. I'm gonna let it boil two minutes only. I want my peppers to be crunchy. So just two minutes only and then I serve. As simple as that, my friends, that's it. Simple as that. So now I'm gonna let it boil two minutes and serve. That's it. It's an easy recipe. If you wanna uh, use vegetable broth, by all means, go ahead. It's your choice. But as you see, I barely use those cubes or whatever they're called, or bouillons or whatever they are. This is how I just make it, just simple. Easy and simple. Okay, I wanted to show you how thick it is. You see how it disintegrated or now you don't see the chunky tomatoes? Well, that's how the tomato paste comes out right it's nice and thick so now it's ready to serve and my onions are not raw they're cooked <laughs> all right so that's it simple now we're gonna garnish it with fresh basil and cilantro okay my friends so here's the results I hope you try it out let me know how you like it and if you didn't like the way I do it just let me know I know everybody has their own taste like I said, the sauce can be made without all the vegetables. I just like it chunky, so that's why I add it at the end like that. Otherwise, you can omit the peppers that I added at the end and the onions and just use the same sauce as long as it's well flavored with the nice fresh oregano and basil. It's awesome. It tastes delicious. Anyways, my friends, thank you all for watching and thank you so much for your patience and hope that you uh, try it out and uh, let me know. Thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss any of my videos and hope to see you again on the next video. Thank you all for watching. Bye.